Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mac here, and in today's video I'm playing Halo the Master Chief Collection. You may be wondering why, and that's because they added some new seasonal content. If you go to your challenge hub and go to Halo 3 Celebration, they actually added a new skull to the game called Acrophobia, which is the fear of flying. In order to earn this new skull, you need to get 343 kills on flying enemies in Halo 3 on at least normal difficulty. Now the fastest way to grab this is to go on Crow's Nest, Rally Point Charlie, make sure you are on the normal difficulty, and then start it right up. Now with this method, it'll only take you about 10 or maybe 15 minutes to grab the skull, and it's one of the most fun skulls I've ever had the chance of playing with. Now from the beginning of the Rally Point Charlie checkpoint, just work your way through until you get to the bomb room, and then take out all of these uh, brutes, and I believe that is a chieftain in the back, who is of particular interest as they carry a fuel rod cannon, which we will need. So we're going to take out all of the enemies in the bomb room. We're going to grab the fuel rod cannon as our main weapon, and then we're going to actually arm the bomb. And we are going to now make our way away from the bomb towards the end of the mission, which is where we will need to actually grind out some of these drone kills. But don't worry, it goes by very quickly. Once you're on the bomb, drop down the ramp and then just follow the hallways for maybe about 10 seconds. Once you reach this section of hallway, you will get interrupted by Cortana, and directly after this you will trigger a checkpoint, which is pretty notable. This is the checkpoint we will be rinsing and repeating. With your fuel rod cannon out, move forward and turn right down the ramp, turning left. As soon as you come out of the door, you should be able to spot about 15 drones flying right across the face of the door. You'll want to use your fuel rod cannon in order to hit the group hopefully killing all of them within two hits or less. As soon as all of them are taken out, just pause the game and load the last checkpoint. Now you will have to do this about 20 times or so, but each run only takes about 20 seconds, so you can be done in as little as seven minutes. And there's also a little tracker that shows up in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen every time you reach a multiple of 34 kills or about 10% of the challenge. And eventually, all of them will unlock, as you see on screen here. And once that bar is completely full, you now have access to this new and wonderful skull. So feel free to back out, choose a Halo 3 mission that is quite large in nature, and make sure you equip that skull and then start a new mission. I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay and how to use it. But basically, all you're going to do is jump, and then you're going to hold the jump button to fly. And what you do is you will fly in the direction that you are currently aiming, so you can soar through the sky and take turns as you wish. The only thing I would recommend is that you do play this in co-op, because it's very easy to splatter yourself by hitting a wall or a tree, and as soon as that happens, you will die. And because you are flying across the entire map, the likelihood that you trigger a checkpoint is pretty low. So you can have a lot of fun, you can even finish a mission in many cases, but if you do accidentally die, you'll be brought back all the way to the beginning if you don't have a co-op partner to spawn on or if you don't trigger any checkpoints. Nonetheless, this is really fun. It'll hopefully allow you to reach some new locations you've never reached before in Halo 3. And hopefully everyone's just able to enjoy the game. Thank you so much for watching. A special thanks to Puffy Vins, Elder Ghost, and William C. Man for supporting the show on Patreon. See you soon. Peace.